Ready? Uh, I'm joined here today by Ollie Johnson. OJ, you signed a new deal with the club today, a one-year deal in a new role which sees the club switch over to a hybrid system. Are you happy to get this one over the line? Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, I think it's really promising for the club uh, in general. Um, you know, non-league, a lot of clubs are sort of moving in this direction. And I think it's testament to, to the academy and everyone involved that, you know, got the players available coming through, you know, the likes of Miles. Uh, Zach Mason, who are, you know they've done really well. They've proven to be, you know, really talented players, and you know they've stepped in when needed. Um, so it just shows that um, you know there's a there's a little pathway for them. And I think these extra sessions uh, should really help them, uh, you know, get used to sort of the rigors of non-league football, men's football. Your new role adds to the coaching staff, specifically with uh, helping out with strength and conditioning sessions. How do you feel about this new role? Yeah, I'm really pleased. Um, I mean. I'm happy to, to still be here and uh, you know my intention is to be playing as well uh, but also you know with this, this sort of dual role um, it's, it's something I do in my day job I've been working on like a one-to-one -one basis yeah. doing sort of strength and conditioning sessions so it'd be nice to uh, work with a group and see if I can you know sort of help them through my own experience you know I've, I've had um, injury problems over the year and just just that fact means I've uh, you know I've Accrued quite a bit of knowledge and done a lot of research into sort of injury prevention. Um, I mean, it's, uh, it's it's been a little bit late for me to try and sort of turn it around on a personal level in terms of injuries, but um, it'd be good to pass on that knowledge uh, to the younger lads. Uh, you know, about uh, just sort of being as conditioned as possible for the men's game, more robust, um, just fit a stronger young young athletes really. Uh, how do you think this new hybrid system will help the benefit the club in the long term? Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's going to be a great benefit. Um, as I say, it looks like we're, we're moving in the right direction as a club. Um, especially, as I mentioned before, with the, with the academy, we've got some good players coming through, which is, um, if I'm totally honest, it's probably the first time since I've been here that we've had this sort of talent coming through who are, who are good enough to, to train with us on a regular basis and, and to play as well. So I think you know, it all bodes well for the club long term. Um, and things you know, th things seem to be going in the right direction. And uh, what do you think of the squad that Mark and Danny have built for the upcoming season? Yeah, I mean, it's starting to come together now. Um, I mean, uh, like the lads have played together before. The the majority of the squad are, are going to be here from last season, which is really good. I think you know that continuity. Although you know it resulted in relegation, which was not what we wanted. We feel we still had a, a decent squad, and if things had gone maybe a little bit. A little bit differently, I've had a, a little bit more luck with you know results, injuries, and that kind of thing. I think you know I think we would have we would have stayed up, but as it happens, we went down. But we've kept that squad together, and a, a lot of them are young players. They're only going to get better. They're only going to improve. Um, so yeah, I think you know it's it's looking promising for the season now.